It is my honor and pleasure to welcome you this afternoon on the occasion of the graduation of the students from the University of the South Pacific. It is my privilege and duty as chairman of this function to open the ceremony for the graduation, and uh, I formally do so. I now call on the Chancellor to address this gathering. As your Chancellor, I want to take this opportunity to remind you that neither informal or formal education ever stops. Informally, you must never stop reading. Never cease asking good questions. Always make a practice of observing. Formally, there are many chances to continue learning. Of course, there is a cost attached to each new level of education. However, someone once said, if you think education is expensive, try ignorance. Entwined like a double helix with learning is the parallel task of teaching. Again, it need not be formal, but surely it is a part of the transition that this graduation recognizes. From this day on, you have something to offer. Be generous with that capability, whether on the job or away from it. To the extent that we help others, we help ourselves. You have gained values and hopefully will gain far more. Do not keep them to yourself. Share them. I now call upon Dr. Mudadida, the head of the, the school, school of Humanities, Professor Willett, the head of the School of Pure and Applied Sciences, Professor Awofa, the head of the School of the Social and Economic Development, and Dr. Samisoni, the head of the of the Fiji School of Medicine to present those who have been awarded certificates and diplomas and who are present to the Chancellor. Mr. Chancellor, I have the honour to present to you the following persons to whom you have awarded the Certificate in Clothing and Design. Bashir Ahmed. <laughs> Rahim Bush. Titilia Vakotha Lalambalavu. <laughs> Reshmi Anjali Pillay. Kua Singh. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, I have the honour to present to you the following persons to whom you have awarded the Diploma in Applied Computing. Vipu Patel. Vipu Patel. <laughs> and Jana Devi Shankar. Mr. Chancellor, I have the honour to present to you the following person to whom you have awarded the degree in computing, sorry, the diploma in computing, Atish Chand. <laughs> Mr. 
Mr. Chancellor, I have the honour to present to you the following person to whom you have awarded the Diploma in Information Systems, Pajit Singh. I now call upon the Chancellor to award the degree of Bachelor of University to all those who have completed the requirements prescribed by the Senate. Will of all graduates please stand. <clears throat> Mr Chancellor, I have the honour to present to you, on behalf of the Head of the School of Agriculture, the following persons of, upon whom you have conferred, conferred the degree of Bachelor of Agriculture. Thomas E. Buwawa. Isireli Thawaki. Matai Asi Ndina Vasus Vuso Taniela Baha Akalo and Viliami Yambakimbo. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, I have the honour to present to you the following persons upon whom you have conferred the degree of Bachelor of Science. Varangna Jo Abai. <laughs> Navin Chandra. Wilson David <laughs> Josephine Kukila Devi <laughs> Pranil Leshwa Dutt William Eliessa <laughs> Nishmani Ruanthi Fernando Alison Guiano <laughs> Reni Rajini Ganda Utra Devi Ganda <laughs> Taunapanga Kalfatak.
Carol Shireen Kawatlawan. Silash Rohit Krishan. Rajesh Krishna. Mukesh Kuma. Ronik Kuma. Sanjay Kumar Fish uh, Lakmi Angeline Lull Satcha Nand Lal Salani Eta Singatambu Lalanga Besi Isaac Lakelalu Yogita Kishore Lodia Luke Mani Satanis Lau Stan Manu <laughs> Silvia Manu Ika Josefa Mikaeli Masivui Mikaeli Mandrui uh, Mandrui Langi Nandan Patheli Nakovu Levu Anita Devi Naidu. Mamta Narayan <laughs> Nawin Naresh <laughs> Ma 
Matthew Tamani Palu. Leon Junior Hanuelo. Ashveen Sunil Prasad. <laughs> Dawenda Kant Prasad. <laughs> Shajeshwa Prasad. Shobna Bhatta Prasad. Shyam Wati Sud Prasad. Tamima Thimbakethi Rathuli. Rajini Kashul Raju Ronald Paras Ram Shabya Rani Ilya, sorry, Ili, Eli, Atia, Ratu, Mai, Na, Atheva. <laughs> Ashwin, Anil, ready. Salawai Vulaval Roko Matu <laughs> Bernadette Sujita Sami Nara Ndimbi Saru hmm, I've lost my place. I'm Anand Prakash Shah. Vinay Prakash Shandil. Navin Singh <laughs> Ramani Sudara Suthi Swaran <laughs> Josephata Ngalambal Suka Raman Dayo Tamasa (laughs) 
Maika Nondomo Tola. Peter Finau Tui Anum. Eleanor Ma Opa Uli Uviti. Saina Mili Valu Wambula. Tine Vundune Mvalu. Jatoni Nasia Vusailangi. Oh, sorry, wrong person. Um, Josepha um, Tavita Valau. Sorry. Oh, Chitoni Nasia Vusailangi. Happy Salome Novi Vunisa. Nosesi Vura Tonga. Mr. Chancellor, I have the honour to present to you the following persons to whom you have awarded the postgraduate diploma in chemistry. Mohini Lata Mudlia. <laughs> Narendra Jai Prasad. Mr. Chancellor, I have the honour to present to you the following person to whom you have awarded the postgraduate diploma in computing science, Lai Ning. Mr. Chancellor, I have the honour to present to you the following person to whom you have awarded the postgraduate diploma in earth science, Leone Sevuloni Lima Levu. Mr. Chancellor, I have the honour to present to you the following person to whom you have awarded the postgraduate diploma in mathematics. Malatini Holler. I now call upon the Chancellor to award the degree of Master and the degree of Doctor of Philosophy of the University to all those who have, been, to, who, who have completed the requirement prescribed by the Senate. Will graduates please stand?
I, Jeffrey Arama Henry, Chancellor of the University of the South Pacific, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Charter and Statutes, now confer the degree of Master and degree of Doctor of Philosophy of the University to those who, having completed the requirements laid down by the Senate, are about to be presented, and on those who, being absent, have their names included the 1993 role of graduates. I now call upon Professor Willett, the head of the School of Applied Sciences, Dr. Mudarida, the head of the School of Humanities, Professor Awofa, the head of the School of Social and Economic Development, to present the graduates who are presented to the Chancellor. Mr. Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you the following person upon whom you have conferred the degree of Master of Arts with distinction, Robert Nicole. Mr. Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you the following persons upon whom you have conferred the degree of Master of Arts, Tevita Mba. Winston Halapua. <laughs> Frederick Kalomoana Timakata is a true son of Vanuatu. Although he was born in the time when his country was still a dual colony called the Condominium of the New Hebrides. Mr. Timakata was, in fact, one of those leaders who officiated at the birth of the Republic of Vanuatu and has helped guide the new nation through the early years of its independence. He is from the island of M.A., where he was born in 1936 and where he received his early education. Later, from 1957 to 1959, he attended Tangoa Training Institute. His first career step was as a teacher at that institute from 1960 to 1962. In 1962, Mr. Tamakata first came to Fiji to attend Dawui Levu Theological College. On his return to Vanuatu, his service as a Presbyterian minister began with a posting as pastor in Luganville. From there, he went to Port Vila as pastor in 1970, becoming assistant clerk to the Presbyterian Church Assembly in 1971. After two years as pastor on Urupiv Island, he returned to Port Vila as pastor and moderator of that parish and from 1975 to 1976 served as clerk of the Presbyterian Church Assembly, becoming the first national to hold such a post. He entered politics in 1975, becoming the representative of the Shepherd Islands Chiefs in the New Hebrides Representative Assembly a post that he held until 1977. During this period of intense political activity, 
Mr. Timakata served as Vice President of the Vanuaku Party and in that capacity was in the forefront of the struggle for self-determination and independence. From 1978 to 1979, Mr. Timakata served on the country's constitutional committee. He also represented the Presbyterian Church at the World Council of Churches meeting in Nairobi. In 1979, he contested the general elections and won one of the two seats allocated in the Tangoa Shepherds constituency. After the elections, he was elected chairman of the Representative Assembly in 1979, a position he held until independence. At independence on 30th July 1980, Mr. Timakata was appointed Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Home Affairs in Vanuatu's first cabinet. He was re-elected to Parliament in 1983 and became Speaker of the House until 1987. He was again re-elected and appointed Minister for Health in 1988. In 1989, Mr. Timakata was elected President of the Republic of Vanuatu. In May of that year, as President of Vanuatu, he opened the new university complex in Port Vila. A strong supporter of the traditions and customary ways which encourage community action and consensus decisions, Mr. Timakata, himself a chief of high rank, played a leading role in the traditional ceremonies which marked the opening of that university complex. The complex in Vanuatu is one of our larger university bases, which includes the University Center of Vanuatu, the Pacific Languages Unit, and the Pacific Law Unit, which is developing a full law degree program for next year. A few months after the opening of the Port Vila complex, he accepted the appointment of Chancellor of the University of South Pacific. Serving until 1991, and conferring degrees and awarding diplomas and certificates to record numbers of graduates at graduation ceremonies on both the Alafour campus in Apia and the Lothala campus here in Fiji. It has been the good fortune of the university that it has had as its chancellors leaders who are acclaimed in their own countries and respected in the region and the world beyond. Frederick Kalamuana continued in this tradition, bringing with him his particular presence to impress upon this prestigious office. His reverence for his own national custom perhaps helped him bring a particular style of dignity to the traditions of this university and to the role of Chancellor. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have pleasure in presenting to you Frederick Kalomoana Timakata. I, Jeffrey Aram Henry, Chancellor of the University of the South Pacific, by the authority vested in me by the Charter and Statutes, and with the approval of the Senate, now confer on you the honorary degree of Doctor of the University.
I now call on Dr. Mudarita to read the citation for the honorary degree of Master of University for Mr. Ju Jinda Singh Nganwal. Joginder Singh Kanwal of Ba, Fiji, has promoted literature and language throughout a long teaching and writing career. He is originally from Punjab in India, where he was born in 1927. He later followed his father to Fiji. He has a Master of Arts degree in Economics from Punjab University in India and postgraduate teaching qualifications. Mr. Kanwal began his career in Fiji in 1958 as a teacher of English and served as principal of Khalsa College from 1960 until retiring in 1987. He then worked for the Fiji Institute of Technology as a lecturer in English for a further three years. Mr. Kanwal was a member of teachers and principals organizations in Fiji and served as president of the Principals Association for two years, 86-87. His interest in culture has involved him in several projects and organizations, including the Bar Cultural Society and the Fiji Girmit Council, amongst many others. He has also been an active member of a number of language and literary organizations. Amongst them is the Association for Commonwealth Literature and Language Studies, the Hindi Mahaparishad of Fiji, which is the Great Council of Hindi of Fiji, and the Fiji Writers Association. Mr. Kanwal is well read in contemporary Pacific literature in English. His own works are both in English and in the local language. He is proficient in Punjabi, Hindi, Urdu, and English languages and has written novels, non-fiction and poetry in both Hindi and in English. His prose is considered to be simple, lucid and colloquial and his poetry to have a grace and lyrical force. Both his fiction and non-fiction are particularly well researched. As a writer, his concerns are humane his books about the fundamental problems of existence. He is deeply committed as a writer, working in something of a wilderness where few others are venturing or even talking or thinking about. Despite this, he has managed to produce four novels, two works of non-fiction, a collection of poems and a collection of short fiction, as well as some English translations of his stories. Amongst his best known works are Savera, The Morning, which follows the lives of indentured Indian laborers in the Girmit period, Dharti Meri Mata, which is The Earth is My Mother, which follows the lives and problems of three generations of Fiji farmers, Karwat, which means the turning point, about the 1920 strike by Indian workers in Suva, against rising prices and low wages and Saat Samundar Par across the seven seas about a girl from Punjab who marries a boy from Fiji. One hundred years of Hindi in Fiji in English covers the development of Hindi in fiction, folk songs, poetry, newspapers and periodicals. While Yadoki Kushbu which is Fragrance of Memories, is a collection of poems. Mr. Kanwal was, has won considerable recognition and has received a number of literary awards from India. These include awards from the Council for Overseas Indians for Savera and Karwat and an award of the Uttar Pradesh government for promoting Hindi language and development through Savera. The University of the South Pacific has played an important role 
in the construction of a literature in English, now recognized as specific literature. The university has acted as a catalyst, promoting the notion of a regional literature and has encouraged Pacific Islanders to write. This literature is now seen as a means of understanding the modern Pacific. While the development of a Pacific literature in English has had an effect on writing in regional languages, USP's involvement in fostering these other language literatures has been limited. So it is appropriate today and timely to honor a distinguished writer in a local language. Mr. Chancellor, I have the pleasure in presenting to you Joginder Singh Kanwal. I, Jeffrey Aram Henry, Chancellor of the University of the South Pacific, by the authority vested in me by the Charter and Statutes, and with the approval of the Senate, now confer on you the honorary degree of Master of the University. I now call upon the Pro Vice Chancellor Academic, Ms. Naidu, to present those persons who have been awarded medals and prizes. Mr. Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you the following persons who have been awarded medals and prizes USP Alumni Prizes in Foundation Science, Leonard Kwang Lee, Pio Imosi Manoa, Jyotika Prakash, Ashish Vinay Raj. The ICI Fiji Limited Book Awards, BSc 1, Batiri Thayman. <laughs> BSc 2 Joint Award, Jacqueline Evans and Apatea Bakadengu. Ajax Chemical Prize to Ramani Sudara Sutiswaran. <laughs> BDH Prize in Physical Science, Ritesh Rajneel Prasad, Min Win Mayat Tin.
Institute of Valuation and Estate Management of Fiji Prize, Solomone Vitidorovo Nata. John Gibbons Gold Medal in Biology, Ramani Sudhara Sotiswaran. <laughs> Gold Medal in Literature, Mohit Manoj Prasad. Gold Medal in Science, Ramani Sudhara Sutiswaran. Gold Medal in Social Science, Annie Raymond. Gold Medal in Medicine, Israeli view my totoya. I now call upon Mrs. Kini Tura Gavo. Vakatavasa to deliver their trace on behalf of the graduates and diplomats. The Chancellor, the Vice Chancellor, distinguished guests, lecturers, my fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen. I consider it an honor, a great privilege, and a humbling experience to be selected this year as a mouthpiece of appreciation for these graduates, especially during the university celebration of its Silver Jubilee. My appreciation, first of all, goes to the Chancellor, the Vice Chancellor, the USP Council, the lecturers, and the members of the staff of the University of the South Pacific for their untiring efforts in trying to make geniuses out of us. I hope we will live up to their hopes and aspirations and that, that one day we will be able to stand up also and say to them what Voltaire said when he said, I disapprove of what you say but I will defend to the death your right to say it. I also would like to acknowledge with gratitude the contributions and assistance of donor countries and also to our sponsors for their support towards our learning and all others who have contributed in one way or another towards our success today. To our parents and relatives, to our spouses and to our friends and also to our children, we thank you for bearing with us during the period of our study. We know we cannot thank you enough but we can only pray that the Lord God Almighty will richly bless you. I congratulate the university and its attainment of 25 years of learning and achievement. Imagine a quarter of a century. In a country which has self-ruled for 23 years, undergone two coups, witnessed two constitutional changes, experienced the rare and first defeat of the national budget, voting at two general elections within 20 months of each other. This is no mean achievement in its survival. While other Pacific regions watched in consternation, concerned about the welfare of their students, admirably the university has carried on with its task as an institute of learning unaffected by what goes on around it. People have come and gone through its portals and the university cannot be accused of doing less for the people of the South Pacific region. It has boasted of turning out great leaders, teachers, lawyers, lecturers, and politicians. It has done the best any university could have ever done. The failure would be on the part of we graduates if we do not go back 
and share with our people what we have attained from here. Well done, USB. <coughs> to my fellow graduates, I believe credit must go where credit is due. We must thank the Lord for what we are, who we are, and what we have achieved today. For the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Congratulations on your success. And as MacLeish says, we have learned the answers, all the answers. It is the question that we do not know. However, there is one question that we know, and I would like to remind you today, that which was posed by John F. Kennedy when he said that we ask not what our country can do for us, but rather what you and I can now do for our country. I hope armed with the qualifications and the knowledge that we have attained from here, we will go back to our respective countries wiser and confident than when we entered, more experienced and resourceful than we would ever hope to be. I want to leave with you a reminder from the book of Joshua 1.9. Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest, and so be it. I wish everyone here a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you and God bless you. Do not be fearful of doing too much, of spreading yourself too thin. Just know that this is a pitfall to be avoided. That part of the fun will be 
the lifelong task of balancing specialization against wide-ranging participation. Although apparently opposites, these are in fact compatible. Instead of being stressed by their separate values, be nourished by them. If I seem to be urging too much, remember this one truth. All that matters is love and work. Today then is both a closure and a beginning. The last page of this chapter of your life is about to be turned over. Turn it over willingly with pride and satisfaction. Open the new chapter of your life alertly and with courage and vision. For as surely as you will and must move on from here to tomorrow, the rest of the Pacific shall be there on the same voyage. I congratulate you on your progress and wish you Godspeed in the journey ahead. Thank you.